Hi, uh, this is going to be a demonstration on uh, using the track mode on the Re303 Sonic Potion CPU. Um, track mode uh, can be a bit confusing. Uh, it, it took me a while to wrap my head around it, so I just thought it would be a good idea to maybe make a video um, which uh, could be helpful to some others and something I can go back to look at uh, in case I forget. Um, so anyways, um, to start, um, we're in pattern play mode and I have four patterns already recorded that we're going to use for the track. So those are my four patterns. Um, I'm in track pattern group three. Uh, the, this is just your, the memory banks, um, for the tracks and the patterns, so... I just happen to be in track pattern group three for this. So uh, to write the track, uh, we're going to go into track write mode. Now this track here is a brand new track. This is a cleared track, which what that means is every bar of this track is going to be set to pattern one. Um, if you have an existing track that you want to reset, you can do that. Uh, I will show how to clear the track towards the end of the video, um, but for now let's just go ahead and write our track. Um, the first thing I want to mention though before we get into this is that you want to be aware that when you're in write and play mode, the sequencer, it's, it's, it's going to be in whatever, whatever bar you were last working on in either of these modes, it's going to go back to that when you switch between the two modes. So say I was writing bar four in write mode, and then I switched to play mode to check my track to see if it was playing, if it was, you know, um, arranged to how I want it. And then I switch back into write mode. It's not going to take me back to bar one. What it's actually going to do is, first off, it's going to pick up, when you hit start, it's going to pick up the sequencer wherever it was at when you were in play mode. And then it's going to go to the bar you were last at when you were in write mode. This uh, can be a bit confusing. It, it was confusing for me. Um, as you know, m most people would expect that when you switch back to write mode or switch to play mode, it's going to take you back to the beginning of your track. I mean, most modern, you know, sequencers do do that. Um, this, however, this... I assume is is the same behavior with the with the original TB303. So do note of that when you're working in track mode. <clears throat> so anyways, um, again we have a this is a new track, so every bar is set to pattern one. So we're gonna go ahead and start the sequencer and write in bar one. So for bar one, I'm I'm gonna set pattern one to be bar one. So what, if I wanted to use a different pattern for bar one, I would just select that pattern. You'd hit the button and wait for it to switch to that. Once it's lit, you would hit right. So like if you wanted bar three or pattern three to be bar one, you'd switch that and hit right. However, I want pattern one to be um, bar one. Now it's, you'll notice it's flashing, it's because Technically, pattern one is already set to bar one. Because again, this is a clear track. All bars are currently set to pattern one. But I'm gonna go ahead and hit right and take me to bar two. So every time you hit right, remember it's gonna move the sequencer to the next bar. So now I'm gonna set pattern two for bar two. So I'm gonna press two, wait for it to light up, and then if you want to see which bar you're on, instead of just tapping right, I'm going to press and hold it down. And now it's going to show I'm on bar three. When I release, it's going to show me that pattern one's playing. So now I want to set pattern three to be bar three. Press it, wait for it to light, and hit right. And as you saw, when I tapped it, bar four flash briefly and then now it's showing uh, pattern one is playing. So finally bar four is going to be my last bar of the track. So I'm going to go ahead and 
tap or tap pattern four, hit right, and now I'm on bar five. Now I don't want bar five to be included with my track. So in order to tell the sequencer where the end of your track is, you're gonna have to hit the time, you're gonna have to hit time mode, this is the button above slide, press and hold, I should say time mode, and then press pattern clear, which you're actually gonna to send to Capo. But right now, I'm on bar five, I don't want that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to bar four. So if I hold down back, now you can see I'm on bar four, it's playing pattern four. So now I'm gonna go ahead and set the end of my track. So I'm gonna press and hold time mode and then press pattern clear. And now I'm gonna go ahead and stop the sequencer. So now my track has been set. Bar one's pattern one, bar two, pattern two, so forth and so on. So now I wanna check my track to make sure it's playing as I expected. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to um, track play mode. <clears throat> now, as I mentioned before, if I was playing something before, it would still pick up on whatever bar it was on previously. So what I'm gonna do is while you're in track play mode, you can't do this in write mode, um, but in track play mode, if you hold down right and then press back, it's gonna reset the track back to the beginning. So let's go ahead and pl play back our track and make sure it plays as we expected. Make sure it's, we want it to end on four and when it ends, it's just gonna go back, it's gonna loop. It's gonna start back over in one and play through four again. So there we have it. Our, our track is set as as we recorded it. So, or I should say we, as we written it. Um, <clears throat> so now uh, what I'm going to do is go back into write mode. And we're gonna what we're going to do is we're going to clear our track. I'm going to show you how to clear the track. Now, as I mentioned before, remember, um, it's going to pick up wherever it last was on. So um, and also it's gonna it's actually gonna pick up wherever you're on during play mode Which I'm gonna show you here, but it's all but then it's gonna go back to the last bar You're on when you're in write mode So let's go ahead and just go back and I'm gonna go back into play mode and I'm just gonna stop it halfway through So I'm gonna stop it there and it was it's on bar three So I'm gonna switch back over to write mode. I can see three still flashing so when I hit start it's going to pick up on the sequencer is going to pick up on bar three and it's going to go to bar four because that was the last bar I was on when I was in right mode. So now we're on bar four. So if you're ever, um, it's, it's very important to make sure you know where you're at on your track when you're in right mode, because if you don't, if, if you if you're unsure which bar you're on that's where your track is just it's not going to be written as you want it to so it's important to identify which bar you're on <laughs> and you can always do that by by hitting either next or back by pressing and holding so four is lit but that's because i have pattern four set i'm actually if i hit next I'm now on bar five. So, and if I hit next again, I'm on bar six. So if I press and hold, I need to go back to bar four. You're gonna use, that's where you're gonna use the, the next and back buttons. Um, but again, I, I'm just trying to show that it's important to know where you're at on your track because uh, just for the fact that, it, that the sequencer picks up not only where the sequencer was last on in play mode, or if you're in write mode and switch to play mode, it then is going to return back to whatever bar you're on when you were in that mode. And, you know, if you're in, in how I showed in play mode, you can do the, <coughs> excuse me, you can do hold down <coughs> the right button and press back to reset uh, back to the beginning of the track. Right mode, you can't do that. That doesn't, that, function is not available in right mode but what i usually just do is i'll just keep on hitting back 
until what you want to do is you just want to keep on hitting back until if you press and hold back, C and C sharp are going to be lit. So something just to keep in mind. If you're if you're uncertain where you're at, um, just go just get back to the beginning. Just keep on hitting the back button until until you get to that point. All right. So. Uh, um, Again, we're going to go ahead and clear this. I'm going to show you how to clear the pattern. So now that we know we're at the beginning, I mean, I could hit run. So next, so it's in bar two, bar three, bar four. Go back to the beginning. You don't have to go back to the beginning but um, to clear the pattern, but I'm just going to go ahead and go back to the beginning. What I'm going to do to clear it is going to, uh, we're going to hold down pattern clear, press and hold, and then press and hold the right button and then press the back button so all three are pressed at the same time and then release so now as you can see we're, we're back going back to the beginning of the uh the track now when i run it and step through each bar it's going to get a play pattern one bar three pattern one bar four pattern one so that's how you clear it so uh that's it for the demonstration um uh again i hope this is this can be helpful to some of you out there um thanks for watching